Hello, this is Noreen from Joy of Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please click that subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. Also, I give away the demo card, so if you're a first time subscriber, put your email in the comments and I'll email you back and let you know if you won the card. Also, make sure you watch the video all the way through because you never know, I might give the card away to anyone or I might do, be doing card kits or swaps or something. So anyway, now let's go make a card. Hello everybody, so today's card, yes, we're using pastels again. I can't get away from backgrounds. I really, that's kind of my jam. Um, I really enjoy doing these pastels and it's super easy to do all these different techniques. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, I've done three other videos on soft pastels, all kind of little different. So you get the um, optimal use out of uh, this particular way of doing coloring and backgrounds and stuff. So this one today, we are going to be using Mountain Air. Now on this card here, I'm using the back side of the detail of the mountain. And then the other two, I'm using both the two tree and the one tree. And then the sentiment comes from Forever Blooms. I'm using this one on the top. And it's easy. We've, we're going to start with a five and a half by four and a quarter basic black. And let's go ahead and do the inside first. The other two colors we're going to be using is Blackberry Bliss and Basic White. And the inside is super quick and easy. Uh, the Blackberry Bliss is three and a half by five and the Basic White is 3.25 by 4.75. Now you don't have to worry about writing down all the dimensions and everything because if you go to the uh, details of my video, everything is there. So you can get all your products, all the paper sizes. There's even links that you can click on. You'll go to my um, online Stampin' Up! store and you can place orders. It's super easy. So we're using those two trees. I'm also using the little birds that are right here and uh, just kind of putting them up in the corner. And I'm going to leave the sentiment blank. I've been kind of doing that lately because you never know what you're going to need a card for. So I like leaving it blank for now. I just nailed this up real quick and I'm just putting it on the inside. So you can see why I say the, the inside is like super easy. So now let's do the front. For the front, you only need three pieces of paper. You're going to take a Blackberry Bliss and it's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. A basic white, which is four by five and a quarter. And then a strip of basic white, which is four by 0.75. And we're going to take the Blackberry Bliss and we're just going to go ahead and put this in the middle here and it's just our tiny little peekaboo border on there and then we're going to put this one to the side and then we're going to stamp our sentiment. The sentiment is right here from Forever Blooms and really you can put any, any sentiment here. I just chose one that went across the width of the card. I thought that was neat. And I'm only using Memento as the only actual ink ink. The rest is all colored pencils. So, and I'm just going to put this right in the middle like that. I'm not using a stamping pad because it's one of those um, uh, orange stamps and it stamps really well. If it was a stamp that didn't um, stamp so well, I would use my stamping pad, but this one's just fine. So there's the sentiment. Now for the background. Now, um, I can't make it look 100% like it does here because, you know, like any other background, it's just where the, the ink lays down. But I did different things with each one. This one I did more scratching and I kind of don't like the lines on there. This one I did more rubbing in and it looked a lot better. This one, <laughs> talk about happy mistakes. Um, I started playing around with daubers and I'm playing also around with the uh, whisper white refill and the whisper whisper white refill and the stamp pad are in the catalog they're on page 129 in the catalog here and so they kind of hide so if you've never used them they're they're there and I use the refill a lot for doing a lot of my background work so the right here is number four so there's a refill only and then the stamp pad so um, they're there. And like I said, in the details of my video, there's a link and you can just click on it. it goes right to my, um, online, uh, Stampin' Up! store, the actual Stampin' Up! store, and you can purchase this. I also have on my website, joyofcards.com, 
Uh, you can also click on shop and then there's a Stampin' Up site and then there's a Joy of Card site now where I've got a lot of my retired products. I haven't made that video yet because I haven't quite launched it, but uh, you can buy some stuff now. So anyway, we're going to be using this. So, and I use just combinations of, of di different techniques here, but let's go ahead and start. I'm going to start with Coastal Cabana. So you've got all these uh, pastels and you've got Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Mossy Meadow, Night and Navy, and a poppy parade so we're gonna start with the lightest one here in the night sky and we're gonna be doing a lot of like blending with our fingers and I just want to like try to give some essence of where the light is kind of shining through or trying to get like um, a galaxy kind of look to it and I, I might scribble a little bit here and there as well now I'm going to grab some Night of Navy and just trying to put a lot of ink down or you know pastel down on it and then I'm also gonna grab the gorgeous grape here and kind of do the same thing give it a lot a lot of it here and I'm I'm avoiding the middle part for now because when I rub it in with my finger I am going to take some of it and go over that but I just want to establish this first and then I'm going to take another finger and kind of go over it and then we can just add whatever highlights we want and try to put your pastels in the box in between so you don't uh, get your area dirty plus you could break one so and I do have a piece of scratch paper under here, so I'm protecting my surface a little bit. And you can see all the uh, chalk dust come out. Now I'm gonna just flick this into my trash and get rid of some of the dust. I'm gonna go in with some Daffodil Delight and just give it a bit of yellow and Granny Apple Green, a whole bunch of this. And I'm gonna blend kind of the two into each other, trying to grab different fingers that haven't already been messed with. Put some more green in here. This is definitely a messy one. So I'm just adding in color where I want. And I'm even gonna take a little bit of this Coastal Cabana. And I made my cards last week. I made these last week. And then I, um, for my uh, day job, I, I uh, work for my husband's company and we design concert tours and festivals. That's why my fingers are painted. I never have painted fingernails. So we were out in Las Vegas at Life is Beautiful. So um, I forgot how I did this. Like, how did I do this? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, you always make a video after you create a card, lady. So I'm just kind of creating a background here. And now it's time to play. Now, see, I broke my own rules. I'm gonna put these back in the box. Now I did something kind of crazy last time when I was creating this particular card. I did something to this that I didn't do to this. And when I was making this card, I was like, oh no, I messed it up. Oh, I can't believe how stupid I am. So I had the bright idea. If I wanted to make like a galaxy or something, I would take my refill of my Whisper White. Now this is my old one, so it's gonna fight with me. Maybe I'll go grab my new one. Oh, there it goes. And I don't need a lot. And I took a dauber. So we're going to try it. We're just going to go for it. And I'm going to put it right in here. And now, not so in a row like that. And now, <laughs> here's, here's the part that is weird. Look at how when I go over with my finger, it almost comes like sticky and it's got this ugly color to it. And it's like, oh my gosh, what did I do to my thing? And I like this one more than I like the other one. And it's because after I do this, it remains kind of sticky. So when I went over it with my blue and then with my purple again, 
and mixed it in and just and, and you have to play with it back and forth it's not going to look like a masterpiece right away but um, then you just have to lay some more down here it's definitely a work in progress just try not to run over your blank spot a little too much and I'm going to put in a little bit of Coastal Cabana there and I'm going to do some more on the the doppered spots they put that white because I think that's how I managed to get this really cool effect now I am going to put a little in my white spot like I said you can't make a uh, piece like this and have it exactly the same every time so you just have to kind of work it and it did it looked ugly like this for the longest time so just a matter of going back and forth on your colors and finding that sweet spot and I'm really mixing everything in because it's a sky you need more night and navy over that purple and we have so many few colors that you really have to work with what you got so i'm gonna dump my dust go in with my coastal cabana again get rid of dust and just mixing and i'm layering on top of layering on top of layering it looks pretty terrible doesn't it <laughs> but that's a lot of pastel work is like that it's like you know it's, it's terrible until you get it to look cool and then it'll be like oh that looks cool and it's like yeah i know it'll get there it'll get there I'm running out of fingers. Let's look at, boop. There we go. Now I'm going to dust off again. I'm just kind of going over it. And, you know, I mentioned um, happy mistakes. And I think somebody, even a, a viewer mentioned it to me. I'm going back in with the dopper with that white. And I'm going to go over it again here. Um, happy mistakes came from, it's like a, a famous saying from Bob Ross. He was that painter on PBS so incredibly talented and i remember growing up my mother was a bit of a painter and she had a lot of problems had a terrible marriage married to a tyrant and uh, he did a lot of things where it was like happy mistakes because you make a mistake and sometimes you can turn it into something nice and you just never know so even though this looks like a hot mess right now it'll look good once we're done we're just gonna blend it all together but there's a documentary on Netflix about um, about him and it's it's so incredibly heartbreaking what happened because he was this amazing person and uh, yeah it's pretty shameful so I, I might even do um, a tribute to him because I do like a lot of backgrounds and he did a lot of mountain scenery and stuff that you know it's just beautiful and just breaks your heart what happened anyway so I am just giving it whatever I've got and now let's make I'm gonna I'm gonna blend these in a little bit my greens and purples in and then let me dust off I got a different piece of scratch paper here I'm just going to put down a little bit more of the pastel and then blend it in. I also washed my hands. It's, it's a pretty messy one here. And I'm trying to really get in some color. So now I'm going to even go harder. And don't be afraid to go harder. And then just blend that in. If you have too much blue go back in with purple and throw that coastal cabana in there because that's always good right around your 
your whiter spot. Okay, and I'm gonna shake off again. Now I'm gonna make my star. So I already put in some of the uh, Whisper White refill, and then I grabbed a little uh, spritzer with just water in it, not alcohol. And this is the part where you have to kind of uh, do mad scientist here and get the consistency that you need in order to do a splatter. We want it to be good enough to to splatter, so you got to have a little water in there, but not too much. That's why this, the little Stampin' Up! spritzer here is great, because it only gives out a little bit. So that link will be in my video. And by the way, I give away the demo card. So if you like my video and you're a first time subscriber, you know, so like, subscribe, and, and put in my comments, oh, I like the card, or I want to win the demo card, and then you have to put your email address. If you don't put your email, I can't talk to you because unless your settings are up. Um, but um, you definitely want to do that, and that'd be cool. Or if you're a subscriber and you never won a card, that's, you know, hey, I'll give you a card too if you've never gotten one. So anyway, so I'm taking a toothbrush and this uh, white and water mixture and getting my toothbrush all covered. And I'm gonna move anything I don't wanna get splattered on away because this makes a mess too. This is a messy card, but that's okay. And now I'm gonna flick my stars and put the amount of stars that you want on there. Now it's not looking so much like a hot mess. You can also take um, anything kind of pointy and put it in here and get some different sizes of uh, stars. So here's my take your pick tool. That'll make really tiny ones, but it only does it like a few times. And then you can even take a pin and do that as well. But the toothbrush really does work the best. And uh, so you just put on a bunch of stars. Now it doesn't look so bad. And I'm even like gently, <laughs> this is a scary uh, part. And uh, gosh, I just watched that documentary and Bob Ross was saying that too. It's like, here's the, like the scary part when you take a chance on something and sometimes it just turns out, or when you make a mistake, there are so many times that I make mistakes and it actually turns the card into something kind of neat, you know, something I'm not really used to doing. And that's the best part of creating something is taking a, oh, that doesn't look too good into it. Oh, that looks really good. So I was just giving my little shooting stars here, just barely touch it with the bristles of that toothbrush. And this will dry pretty fast, so. Um, so you got to be careful. I'm just going to give, come on. There we go. Got one there. It's funny. I you this was actually my toothbrush and I had to go buy another toothbrush. It's like, oh, I'm out. So now we're going to let that sit for a minute and we're going to go wash up. Now we're going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to go outside of my driveway. Do not do this in your craft room. I've done that and it was very stinky. And then I made it more stinky by putting like cherry Merlot air freshener and then it was really bad So <laughs> while my fan was on. Anyway, so go get some uh, fixable or workable fixative, I guess. And it's for pastels. We laid down a lot of pastel here. Definitely use this. This will start to disintegrate or rub off. So I'm gonna go spray this nicely. Um, now that all the stars are on and then we'll go ahead and put the trees on and now do you see using that dauber and having the uh, white pigment stick and then putting the uh, pastel over it makes this really cool kind of texture here so just wanted to point that out before we go any further also when you pick it up to go spray it grab it by the sides if you grab it by the top you're gonna mush your little uh, star stars. So don't, you know, grab it by the side, be real careful. So I'm gonna go spray and I'll be right back. I'm back, so I took it outside and you could tell it's becoming fall here in Colorado. I, It was chilly outside and, you know, September and I was spraying this down and the wind picked up and blew it on my grass. Oh, it was awful. Anyway, so <laughs> the fixidents down there and uh, we're gonna let it dry a little bit and then we're gonna do some trees. 
So I got my memento, I got my stampin' pad, I got a piece of scratch paper, and I've got the two trees from Mountaineer, this one and that one. And let's go ahead. Now we're gonna be doing stamping off, that's why I've got the stamp pad. I also like to have my ink pad on my stamp pad. And I'm gonna kinda go in like, let me show my example here, like this. And I'm gonna kinda do like, um, you don't wanna do them too much alike, so you kinda switch between your um, two kinds of stamps here. Try not to get it so regular. And you can cross them over, it's fine. Like I'll cross that one into there, and I'll cross this one into there. Might even put another one here, going a little higher. And then I'm gonna go to the front. And I don't really want a lot of that green to show through. I just have it as its background. And, he, and another thing is to, you know, like to stamp and then stamp off. That's always a great thing to do. And then let's go put um, some more of these guys in there. I wanna get that other tree going on. And just go back and forth and fill these in, hopefully as randomly as you can because of course they're not going to be going all the same direction do some stamping off try to cover up that green just go back and forth Decide where you want to stop. Okay. I want to get some real black ones in here. So super stamp and super push down hard. Actually, I want a big one over here. So I'm going to super push down hard, get that nice and black, 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 black. Okay, good. And that looks good. So let's go ahead and put our sentiment on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just snail on the base, even though that's not a good thing to do. You should put it on your piece, but mine is still a little wet. And I'm just gonna put this on like so. And I cut that tag purposely to the width of the card. Now on the mountain one, I put it across the mountain because you know, it's just a big black spot. But this one, I'm going across the sky. So I'm gonna use some dimensionals and dimensional it up. So the dimensionals are on there and I'm just gonna put it edge to edge. And that's the card, so that's super cool. So <laughs> if you like the card, like, subscribe, please. And uh, if you want to try to win the demo card, put in my comments that you wanna win the demo card and put your email and I'll contact you and, and let you know if you won. And of course, uh, you can shop with me online. You can find all the dimensions, everything I've used here uh, from Stampin' Up in my uh, description of my video. But that'll do it for me. Thanks, bye.